a study of violence has revealed to me that violence occurs on three levels. It's intellectual, it's emotional, and it's physical. And these old weapons of this violence, they go, they go back to a medieval barbaric age. But Ghalib, Ghalib, Salib is that unholy trinity, isn't it? Convert, flee, or die. Convert is intellectual violence of the highest kind. It means abandon the Gita, abandon all of your dharam shastra, abandon everything that you know and that you experience from moment to moment and that's etched into the value of your fathers. Abandon it all for something which makes no sense to any person of reasonable, rational thought. It's the highest intellectual violence. And then to use fear, flee, and to establish it with terror, that's emotional violence. You place that into somebody's heart and it binds that heart. And then obviously, die is the threat of physical violence. Those three words became the articulation of violence in every dimension that violence can exist in. The message that I found in the Kashmir files, articulated in that manner, it made it clear to me that those old weapons of intellectual, emotional, and physical violence are still being leveraged today. They are in every forum. They're in the United Nations, the European Parliament, the British Parliament. The fear of criticizing an ideology because of the allegation of Islamophobia is intellectual violence, isn't it? The assertion that there is only one path and all other paths have to be subservient, that's emotional fear, that's emotional violence. So we're seeing two forms of that terrible Raliv Galiv Salih apparent and present across the world. There is only the third one which is yet to be articulated. And as dominoes tumble one by one, I feel the third is not far away. Mm -hmm.